Hi, this is Tracy from Mindless Crafting, and today we're going to be making this beautiful uh, butterfly card. It's going to be a Mother's Day card, and I'm going to use this braided technique, or what it's sometimes referred to as la lattice or lattice technique. So let's get started. So I'm going to start with um, an A2 size card base, and this is a pattern paper here. So of course it's four and a quarter by five and a half. Um, but the inside is white, so I just took a longer uh, piece of cardstock and cut it down to that size. So what you're going to need is this template right here. This little, these little lines is what makes this so magical. And once you learn how to do this, you're really want, going to want to keep doing it. So I did show this technique in a live video. Um, but I figured it'd be good to just do a straight tutorial. So these lines mean something. So what you're going to do is you're going to cut this right close to that black line, as long as you can get it, right here. And this right here is five and a half. Okay. Okay, so I'm just going to cut beyond that line. So you want to have a couple of these so you, so you can make several cards. Um, okay, so once you have that, you're going to cut beyond this, right? Like right here. So you want to cut beyond that line. You don't want to cut right to where it ends, and you'll see why in a moment. Just cut that off. And cut this off right here. And I'm just going to cut this just because I don't really need all of that on there. Okay, so that's going to show you where to make your cut. So think of this as a template. So you see how that measures, that black line right here, measures from the top here to the bottom there. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to take that and line it up against the end here, where your crease is for your card. And you're just going to line it up like this, just right there. Now this part you're going to bend over. And you can make it a little longer if you want. So as long as that ends there and this part ends right here, you're good to go. So that is five and a half. I'm going to just clip this on here. So you don't want, you're going to be cutting here. So that's, you're using those lines to cut. So you don't want to get too close to where you put your pin on your, your clip. Okay. So let's go ahead and bend this one here too. And I probably could have cut even closer to that line, but it should be okay. And you're going to clip that there. So just, just to hold it in place temporarily. Now I'm going to take my fussy cut scissors because it's just easy for me. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut on this line right up to here. Right there. So you want to make sure that you have enough space there. You don't want to cut right on the edge there. So as long as you stick to those lines, you'll be good to go. Right there. Once you see how simple this is, you're going to be like, oh my goodness, I got to do this. And I will put the link to where, where I got this from, this template with the lines, because they're measured out exactly what, the way they need to be. So you see that shorter line, longer line, shorter line pattern? That actually helps to make that braided technique. Okay, so. Yep, so I'll put this in the description box where you can get it from. So just right there, right on the line, not going beyond it, just right as close as I can get it. So I want you to see this whole process. Because once you get it, you're good to go, and you can make a ton of cards like this. Okay, and there we go again. Right there. Okay, so see how that is? Now you're good to go. Now we can remove the clips. That Once I get all of this cut, I can remove the clips now. So that was only, only have this paper just to make the cuts. Okay, so now you're going to unfold this, and this is what it looks like. Look at that. 
So you see these are going up, right? They're going up like this. Not sure if you can see that, but you see the cuts there. So what you're going to do now is you're going to start to take this. See that? That first long one, you're skipping by this and you're just folding that down. And don't worry that it's coming below the card right now. We're going to go ahead and snip that off. Okay, so you're going to need that. All right. So let me go ahead and do that now. So you want to be careful with this when you're snipping it off. Just cut right there and just carefully, let's see, cut right over here. This is where these little scissors are so good for. Okay. Cut it a little bit more. Just a tiny bit. So I'm trying to get it as neatly as possible. Okay, so you want to hold on to that. Okay, so now, once I have that cut out, I'm going to go to this next one. I'm going to skip by this. See that? I'm skipping this part. I'm going to this next part up here. And I'm folding this down like that. Right? And then I'm just going to tuck it under. Tucking it right under. So that starts the first part. Okay, I'm skipping this. And I'm going to the next one. See that? Look at that. See the pattern it's starting to make? And then I'm going to just tuck it under. Skip this one. Go to the next. See how simple that is? Tuck it under. I really want y'all to get this. This is perfect for Mother's Day too. Okay, look at how pretty that is. So imagine you can use double-sided um, cardstock if you have that as well. So pretty. Okay, so now remember this piece right here was missing from this side. All right, so now we're going to just take that and we're going to glue it. But I don't like the way that looks there, so I'm just going to snip it very, just a small piece off of that. Okay, so now I'm going to just glue it. And I'm just going to line it up so it meets directly with this right on the crease there. Just line it up. That way you keep your pattern there. Okay. Just moving it up just a tiny bit. And if you're using art glitter glue, you just want to make sure it dries first and then tuck it under. Look how pretty that is. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just fold that now for my card. And I'm just gently taking it and pinching those into place. So before I used my bone folder and then I said, you know what? It was a little bit too harsh because you have a lot of ridges. So just gently kind of pinch that into place. If you do use your bone folder, just kind of be very gentle. Get your little creases in there. But don't run it over it like that. Now look how pretty that looks. And there you do. You have your braided card. Look at that. Look at that. So if you want to tuck a piece of paper in here, colored paper, and then you get the color in there, I probably wouldn't use that because it matches too much. Let me just show you real quick. This is just for visual. If you were to put a piece of paper in here that fits, of course this doesn't, you can actually have a color in there too. So it just it's just up to you. But I think I'm going to leave it like this for now. Okay, so now I get to decorate. So whenever you decorate this, you want to kind of cut down your card here. And I think this is going to look really pretty with the butterflies. So I'm just going to go ahead and start building my layers here. And I am going to just give this just a little bit of a border here, just like that. And I'm going to cut it down. 
Could you imagine all the color combinations you can come up with for this card? And remember, I'm working with this space here, so everything on this side. Yep, okay, so that works. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put a border around here using some of this. See what we got there. I just thought this would be pretty. Add something. Since it's Mother's Day, add a little bit of bling to it. Get all those little gems that you have sitting around the house. These are those Dollar Tree gems. So I'm creating a little border here. Make my card stand out even more. And this is already sticky, but I think I just want to go ahead and use it. So you get the gist. I'm going to go ahead and decorate the outside of that and then we'll start putting our card together. Okay, so let's go ahead and start putting this together. So I'm going to take this and place it here, but of course I need to add some dimension to it. Just adding some dimension. I think it'll really bring out the card. And after this, I'm going to show you another technique using that same uh, template. Okay. Okay, so I'm just going to put it right there. Okay, so now let's add our butterflies in. It's going to look so pretty. And this uh, butterfly is from our um, Spread Your Wings stamp set, which is actually one of our popular ones in our store. And I will leave the link for that below. All right, look how pretty that looks. Okay, and I can put my little sentiment right here. Oh. A little bit more glue. I'm going to move this over just a little bit so I can fit my sentiment in there and add some dimension there too. And this is from our Mother's Day stamp set also. So I've got a lot of real pretty images for you to work with and I just made this little bubble thing around it. Just kind of hand drew my own. Look how pretty that is with the heart. And I don't mind covering up my gems there, it's okay. And look at that. And we're going to add just a few sequins on there. Just to make it look real pretty. Well, you can do a bunch of these cards. Look how pretty that is. If you want, you can add something to these here. Add little gems to that, right? Right along here, maybe something like that. Just trying to give you all a couple of ideas. I think some blue paper would be pretty underneath if you want to put something on the inside. So look how pretty that looks. Now I'm going to show you another technique. Okay, so using another template, what I did was I this is still four and a half. I'm sorry, four and a quarter by five and a half. I'm just going to fold this in half like this, right? And then I'm going to line it up here. Okay, using that same technique now.
and then I'm going to just like I did before I'm gonna cut it okay so I'm gonna go ahead and cut this off camera because you've seen it already but just using that same thing you know with the cuts again okay so I'm gonna go ahead and continue cutting this and I'll show you what happens with it okay so now we're gonna start doing our process of folding these down right just take you through that process again snip that off I think you do once you do this once or twice you're good to go snip that off okay make sure I keep this here so I don't lose it And I'm sure you'll come up with a whole bunch of ideas once you continue to make these cards. You see how fast this process goes? It looks super fancy and it looks like it would be difficult. But once you see the process, so easy. Okay. Get this one on here. Lining it up here so I can make sure that it fits on there right. Yep. I'll just tuck that under and then go back and glue it. Okay. So you see what that looks like. So now I'm going to go ahead and fold it in. Now, here's what you can do if you wanted to. So say you have a card base. Let's see. I think I have one here. Let me just do this for visual purposes. I wouldn't use this color, but now you can take this and tuck it in here and have that, you know, I think you get it, right? You can have that looking like that. You know, that doesn't look very good, but let me see if I can find one. Well, here's a card base that I had been working on, but you just tuck it in there, and then you have that effect on the end there, just like that. Or, what you could do is I have a pink piece of paper here, right? You can open this up, and lay it on top of this like that and so now you have another kind of card right Let's see just like this right so you I think you get it you just glue that down right and add your sentiment or your decoration maybe some pearls along the sides there Or you can cut this shorter. Let's see. I'm going to put this in my paper trimmer here. And I'm just going to trim off a little bit. I want to see what this looks like. Let's see. Put a little off that side. And take a little bit off of this side too. Take the exact amount off of this side. Okay. Now let's see what we've got here. And this card actually opens up this way. Now you have the edges. Oh, looks like it can work either way, doesn't it? And I would probably have to cut just a tiny bit off that bottom part, but now you've got that going on there. So I may as well go ahead and see if I can finish this off, right? Let's see what we got here. I'm just going to take a tiny bit off of the bottom there. So let's see if I can glue this down and have it fit just like that. Okay. 
I'm just going to put some glue right around these areas here. Just glue that down like that. Look how pretty that is. So that's just another style that you can have. And let me see if I can find some pearls to add to this. I think some pearls would be nice. Okay, so I'm going to add some pearls right down the side here. And I already put some glue on there. Get that hold. And let's put some on this side too. But just showing you another technique in case you want to do one of these cards too. But I really hope that you give this a try. Um, go ahead and check out uh, Pinterest. Look for braided card or lattice card, lattice card, whichever, <laughs> so that you can see all the different ideas you can do with this. Look how pretty that is. Here's the other one. And this will open like this. So you can do so much with this. I'm not sure if this is going to be a Mother's Day or a birthday card. Could be the, either one. But I just wanted to give you another idea. Here's the other cards that I did using that same technique. All right? See, look how pretty. All the different things you can do with this. So I really hope that you give this a try. I hope this inspired you. And I'll make sure I put the template below in the description box. I'll see you real soon. Bye.